Hello everybody, welcome to another Tuesday and vlog number two. Look, I have a Nintendo Switch. Really, it's not fake. It totally works. So what are we gonna talk about this week? Well, a couple of things. Uh, the Nintendo Switch is gonna be the last thing we talk about. First off, GDC, totally true. Nvidia announced, or at the same time as GDC, Nvidia announced the 1080, the 1080 Ti, the next revision of the 1080. The original card only came out six months ago. Curse you, Nvidia. So what that means for me, nothing, absolutely nothing. I have a 1070, I'm happy with it. I'm probably not going to upgrade because that new card is $700. I don't wanna drop $700 on a graphics card right now. Also, this past week, Ryzen, or AMD Ryzen, was officially released along with all the benchmarks. The benchmarks for the 10, or I'm sorry, the 1800X was released, and it seems like a perfectly good chip. It's going to be, what, half the cost of Intel's top-of-the-line chip, which is great. That's fantastic. The big problem I have is that the, all of the benchmarking shows that it, it's a great processor for multi-threaded applications. So that's your video editing, your transcoding, your audio editing and exporting and video exporting, all of that stuff. But it's not so great for gaming. All of the benchmarks or a lot of the benchmarks yielded some issues with gaming and that's because those are single threaded processes, mostly. Most games are developed now to be single threads, which Ryzen is not very good at. Intel still just destroys them on single threaded processes. Will this improve in the future? Probably. I would bet in the next generation of Ryzen, which I would bet will come out the same time next year in 2018, but right now, I'm not going to bother with getting a Ryzen system, even though it would be a good upgrade. I need something that can also do gaming. Shifting gears over to the Linux side now, Ubicon was this week, and so was ScaleX, another Linux convention. At Scale, System76 revealed the Galago or Galago Pro. Galago? G-A-L-A-G-O. Yeah, I'm going to say Galago Pro. And I have the Galago Ultra Pro from 2014, which it's not the best laptop ever. So I'm really actually excited to see that thing hit in the, I believe, end of April or April some point, probably the end. I'm really interested to in seeing what that does. If it's got a great screen and a good trackpad, I would consider buying it. And it's starting at a very reasonable $899. So here's hoping. I'm really hoping it's a good laptop because my 2013 Mac Pro seriously needs to be replaced at this point. Okay, last up for the vlog is the Nintendo Switch. It's fine, it's absolutely fine. I only have Zelda for it right now, and I'm waiting for Blaster Master Zero, and I probably will pick up Shovel Knight again for this system. It's a really nice system. It feels good, it, it's light enough the controls are good, everything's responsive, it's fast. I don't have, seem to have the Joy-Con issue yet with the left Joy-Con desyncing, but I haven't taken it out of this form yet. You can easily slide the Joy-Cons off. They are very small. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll see that this thing is smaller than a Trigger Happy. And since Trigger Happy is upstairs, here's Top Spin and a Joy-Con. So you can see how big the Joy-Cons are. Now, I did not get the Switch off of Amazon. I got it off of GameStop.com, of all places. And I had to get the ex one of the expensive bundles, but I'm just going to return uh, one to Switch because, quite frankly, I don't want to play that game. Oh, and here's the Switch sound connecting. So, the Switch, what do I like about it? I like the screen, the screen is nice, it's sharp, it's pretty. The UI is great, it's almost exactly the same as the PlayStation 4. The controls feel good, everything about the system feels pretty solid, but I am worried that it's going to break at some point. The things just, I think this, I think this is good. I think this is a good system. It just needs some freaking games. It really needs games, which, Hopefully we will get some as the year goes on. Now things I don't like about it. I don't particularly like the right Joy-Con because of the way I hold it to play games. Here, let me turn here. 
my thumb doesn't rest naturally on the analog stick. And that's just a me thing. But otherwise, the buttons are okay. I think the buttons could be a little bit bigger, but it's meant to be used by smaller hands. The speakers are fine. It doesn't get that hot. The kickstand on the back is weak. It's some real weak sauce. This is some real weak sauce, guys. This thing could break very, very easily. I haven't put the micro SD card in yet. That's where it goes. I do have one. It's 64 gig. Overall, it's pretty good. Now, the actual cartridges. These things are tiny. Here's an SD card. Ah, focus, you stupid camera. So here is the Switch cartridge for a game on top of an SD card. So they are definitely smaller than an SD card, as you can see. Now let me turn it around here so you get a better look at it with the gold lead or the copper leads. So there we go. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, you've already seen this picture, but here is a Titans Master or Titan Master and the card. The card is the exact same height as the Titan Master without his head. So focus, dang you. There we go. So the question remains, how do these taste? Bad. Really? Ah. Ah. I've actually had worse. Ah. They. Don't put these in your mouth. Just don't. Seriously, don't. They're disgusting. Things you could do with the Switch. Play it like this, pull the, joints con jo bleh, pull the Joy Cons off and put it in the dock and then play with the Joy Cons. Couple of things though. One, USB C port here on the bottom. That's great. I've got a couple of USB C adapters from work because we've got a few of the new Macs. They don't work for video out on this thing, they just flat out don't work. Video out, power, nothing. D just USB C does not output at all unless it's on the dock. The Joy-Cons don't feel great in my hands. I don't have very big hands for an adult, but I know some people that do, and they, the Joy-Cons just disappear in their hands. One major thing that I think absolutely sucks is right now, you cannot transfer saves from this unit to another unit. So if you've got one unit, all of your saves are stuck on that unit, and you can't do anything with them. You can't move them, you can't upload them to the cloud, Nothing. I suspect that will change later down the line. Otherwise, it's fine. It's a great Zelda machine. There's a lot of promise. I just hope Nintendo can deliver. So other than that, I still have some stuff coming from BigBadToyStore.com. I still have the same figures that I talked about last week. They're still being shipped. That's because it took BigBadToyStore.com like three or four days to actually ship them which was weird. Normally it's two business days at the max. So those are still coming. Those will be here later this week. I've also got a couple of other things coming. I went ahead and bought an Eero mesh wireless system for the house because my wireless router is starting to experience some weird outages in the house that it didn't before. So I'm, I bit the bullet. I spent all the rest of my Amazon points on it and got an, a three pack Eero system for just over a hundred dollars, which, okay, if it solves my wireless issues, great. That's $100 well spent. Other than that, nothing new on the tech front, uh, nothing new on the figure front. At the time of this recording, I just finished re recording the reviews for the uh, Q Ranger Voyager figures. So those will be going up this week, along with uh, reviewing some other stuff that I'm working on. And no, I still haven't opened those masterpiece figures, which I'm planning to do right after I finish recording this. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get on that. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I'm Bolt Matrix. I see you to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Give me a sub if you loved it. I'll catch you next time.